One in four families are directly affected by the mental illness of a relative. Mental illness doesn't discriminate. Um, it doesn't discriminate based on race or gender or class or age. It affects all of us. They happen to every type of family, every uh, ethnic group, socioeconomic group. No one's immune. Well, one of the challenges that uh, people who suffer from serious mental illness and their families face is the stigma in our society against it. Well, I think it's really important that people aren't so afraid of mental illness. It's a disease, like diabetes or something else like that. And I think it's really important that it's treated as such. We need to work really hard to educate the community to see that everyone is affected and we need to do this together. The NAMI Walks is a walk for the mind of America. It's an opportunity, it has been an opportunity to educate the community about mental illness. People do not necessarily talk to each other about what's going on. It takes an event like this, this walk, that brings people out. That gets us talking. And I tell you, every time I talk to someone about mental illness, they tell me about someone in their family. We're providing services to families and consumers that our state, local, and federal governments are not because their funding has been cut. So we do fundraising today for NAMI, and as a result, we have raised money to help programs that we provide for free to save people's lives. I challenge everyone to either come out and be a team captain, be a walker, or you don't even have to come out. You can be a virtual walker. Now, how good is that? It can never hurt. It can only do something good.